Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. I have been requested, requested to make more videos. Well, it was just one comment under one video, but whatever. I am back and I am better. Just because I just graduated, for those of you guys who don't know, graduated with my Bachelor's of Science Biology degree just about two weeks ago. Since I will be taking a couple gap years, just like the video says. I wanted to get back into something, like a hobby of some sort, and I decided YouTube, because I had fun doing it. I started this channel when COVID was rising, and I know I was gonna be bored and I needed something to do, so I started this channel in 2020. A little bit about me, for those of you who don't know, as I said earlier, I just graduated. I was a student athlete, I ran track and field for all four years, and I am a pre-med major, so we are making it to medical school. I can't say that that major has been for this last year. Um, I switched it to pre-PA maybe twice, but ultimately in the end, I know that this is the path for me. Also, ex excuse the raspiness of my voice. I am getting over a sinus infection, and so you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. So yes, I am taking two gap years, not just one, two, for a couple of reasons, and I'm about to get into them. Taking gap years is very beneficial, in my opinion. It allows you to gain more valuable experiences that you can talk about in medical school and not even talk about but apply it to medical school. It gives you time to grow, mature, really solidifies what you want to do in the future. Like in that gap year if you decide that med school isn't for you, all right, at least you didn't just jump right in and already started to spend all that money. Yes, for me a big thing was that I just didn't have enough time to study for the MCAT in school. Like I said, I was a student athlete. The major's already hard and I was involved in a lot of activities. So I found myself having a hard time studying for the MCAT at the beginning of January and just decided that I'm just gonna have to take an extra gap year. At first, you know, I didn't want to. Um, I tried to, that's when I was changing my major um, I tried to just like work around it because I want it to be done as soon as possible. But um, you know, when you think about it, what's the rush, you know? Um, you're gonna get there. I was more thinking about my family as well. Like my future family I wanted to start. I was like, the longer I wait to go to medical school, the longer I wait for a family. And that's not necessarily the case. My family will happen whenever it happens. You can't really plan that out and I'm excited for it. All right, so yes, here are a couple of points for other people who are considering a gap year um, that might help them. I told you what, I told you why I took a gap year. Maybe this will be a reason why you took a gap year. So the first one is GPA improvement. For example, me, I did not end with the best GPA out there. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. And so I am taking this opportunity to build that GPA so I can be a more competitive applicant for medical schools. There's a couple of different routes you can take. You can do a post back program, which is the route that I am taking. You can do a master's program, or you can do a DIY post back. So the difference between all of those. So a post back is gonna be a program where you speak with an advisor and they're gonna guide you and help you on what classes you should take or retake so you can boost your undergrad GPA. And when you apply for med schools, they will see that GPA, which is very nice. So it won't be such a low GPA if you do well in this post back. The only thing is that you don't end up with something at the end. You don't have a, another degree or a master's or anything. You may just get a certificate of completion, but that's about it. But really the main goal for taking this post back was to boost your GPA and hopefully you had met that goal. So next is the master's program. That you will end up with something at the end. You will end up with a master's degree. If for some reason you don't decide to go into med school, at least you have a master's degree to fall back on and you can get a job in whatever field that was, probably medicine. 
But yeah, people would choose to take a master's program just to get something at the end. And uh, mainly the, the point of that is to show med schools that you can handle upper level classes. You can handle the rigor of medical school. And so that's why people will do that route. And then there's a DIY post back where it's not necessarily a program that you enroll in, but you may go to a state college to take a couple of classes. It is much cheaper that way. Um, you may want to retake some classes that you didn't do so well in the first time. Or you may want to pick up some upper level classes that uh, make it, that'll make your application look good. Like, hey, I just took, you know, immunology or something like that. So the pros for that would be, just be that it's cheaper and you're kind of in control of what you do. So that's why people will opt to do that, that route. The second reason for taking a gap here is more time to study for the MCAT. So if your GPA isn't as competitive as you would like it, maybe you can get your MCAT score competitive. That's my thing. So in this next year, I'm going to be studying for the MGAT. I'll have much more time to study for it, and I will have the money to afford the resources for me to prepare for it. That was also a big thing. I am self-supporting, so I didn't really have the money I needed to afford prep MCAT prep courses. They're very, very expensive, as you guys can see like $1,600 to like $3,000. That's actually ridiculous, but I know those courses would help me specifically just because that's the way I learn. I like modules and I like for it to keep me on track. So that's the reason why I'm gonna go with that route. A third reason would be to gain more shadowing or volunteering or even like research experiences so you can talk about in your med school applications. Lucky for me, I'm taking two gap years, so they will see that I had stuck with these experiences for longer than a year. Because you don't really want to just do something just to check the box. Medical schools can kind of see through that, and they kind of want you to participate in things for, you know, longer than just saying that you did it. I have been shadowing physician assistants lately just because I told you I had switched and I had already scheduled those shadowing experiences with the physician assistant, but um, I still went to it, and I actually got to watch an orthopedic surgeon do surgery. He did three knee replacements and a hip, a partial hip replacement, and we saw a, dislo a dislocated hip as well. It was a really cool experience. Um, I got to see what both roles do and that kind of helped me solidify my decision on becoming a physician one day. There's nothing wrong with the physician assistant role. It's honestly a great gig and I would honestly do it if my heart was 100% in it, but it's not. And the final reason is rest. It is going to be nice to take that time off to just rest and gather yourself because medical school is going to be rigorous. It's going to be a lot and jumping straight into it from undergrad, it's just gonna be a lot. You don't wanna burn out as easily or as fast as some people do. And a gap year is a great way to prevent that burnout. So it is worth thinking about. I honestly would recommend a gap year, but that's just me. And yes, there are a few cons to taking a gap year. Like, yes, you would be a physician later on in life. Um, potentially, you're spending more money like for the post bag program or the master's program. Um, or you even may lose motivation to get to med school in between, in between undergrad and medical school, but at least you will know that the field wasn't really for you if you do lose that motivation. But in the end, it's your decision, whatever you think is right for you and your situation, do it. And that's all that I have for you guys with this video. I will be posting more since I am graduated and I have nothing to do until my post back of course but yeah I thank you guys for watching this video please make sure to subscribe for more videos um on pre-med or medical school related you know I'll 
keep I'll keep you guys updated on my journey to public school. And like I said, I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.